Today on World of Fasting Machines, we're going to be looking at something a little different. We're going to be talking about how to properly dress a new or used metal lap. This is a technique that I learned from my Sri Lankan mentors. This technique works well for a brand new lap that hasn't been used and needs to be broken in, as well as a used lap that might need refresh or has contamination issues. In this video, we're going to be looking at a brand new copper lap that, when polishing, is leaving wavy lines reminiscent of the wavy pattern in the copper. The first thing we do is take a fine grit of wet, dry sandpaper, and we turn the machine on and use the sandpaper to smooth out the lap as much as we can. The best way to do this is with a sanding block, but if you don't have one, it's possible to use your fingers. We sing in the video, but a sanding box is going to give you a finer re So once you spent four or five minutes smoothing out any inconsistencies in the lap, then we're going to score the lap. And as you can see in the video, he's using an X-Acto knife and a ruler in order to get perfectly placed parallel lines. Now once you've scored the lap, you can feel the surface is not very smooth. The edges of the metal that have been displaced from scoring are sticking up and if you were to try and polish at this point, you would scratch your stone. Once you've scored the lap, we need to then smooth out the scoring. So he is applying a coat of 02 diamond powder mixed with coconut oil. In order to further smooth out the lap, he's taking a preforming grit topper, so maybe a four or 300 grit topper lap upside down and basically using it as another level of sanding. This is going to take the finish of the copper to an even finer level. He does this for a good five minutes, letting the layers of copper slowly smooth out and turn into a mush, as you'll see on the copper lap. This technique works well for copper laps, tin laps, bat laps, zinc laps, basically any metal lap you can throw at it. This technique's going to improve your speed and your polishing quality, so give it a try. It's an old fashioned technique, but still very relevant in today's modern cutting. Once he feels that the topper is no longer smoothing it out, he wipes the topper off, adds another layer of diamond powder, and goes at it again. Now he's added another layer of diamond powder and he's going at it for the third time. Again, the goal here is to go from the wavy textured surface of the fresh copper lap to something with a mirror-like shine that will enable you to get perfectly smooth facets in no time at all.
the first level of the dressing is complete and I can tell by rubbing my finger on the lap that the ribbed texture of the surface is less pronounced, but it's still there. He goes through the whole process again. He takes the wet, dry paper, sands it again. Then he scores it again. Then he smooths out the scoring with the topper lap again, with the help of diamond powder. And you can see as time goes on, the shine of the lap is changing. From the beginning of the video, it was more of a dull shine. Now it's getting to something more mirror-like. He rinses it off, adds more diamond powder, and keeps on smoothing. Now he's gone through the steps two times, and the lap is much more smooth. You can see that it's much more shiny, but we're not done yet. He applies another layer of diamond powder and back with the sandpaper. So again, we're trying to get underneath the ribbed texture that this lap came with. If your lap doesn't have a texture that's leaving marks on your polishing, you might not have to go through so many steps. Now he's applying 100% alcohol on a paper towel to get all of that crud off. And now you can see the lap is very fine, very smooth, it has a mirror-like shine. You can still see a layer of the scoring, which helps to hold in the diamond paste, but essentially this lap is ready to go to give you a very fast and very smooth shine. Thanks for joining me and come back next time for a brand new episode of World of Fasting Machines.